Hello folks from my studio in Pennsylvania. It's that time of year. What a year it's been, hasn't it? Very challenging indeed. Here in Pennsylvania, we'll be closing down again for a while, at least till January 4th. Who knows what'll happen after that either. But things are, are very challenging. I know that's happening uh, in other pla parts of the country as well. It certainly has an impact, doesn't it? Economically, emotionally, people are going through a lot, yet we do have to be careful. There's that balance in there, isn't it? Just wanted to say hello and wish you a, a Merry Christmas indeed. And I do want to focus on that one part, too. Emotionally, this can be quite challenging, can't it? We're isolated. We can't meet each other face to face and see each other's smiles and see each other's facial expressions and it's all masked out there. Very unusual, very tense sometimes. I know a lot of people are suffering from loneliness or perhaps you're, you're cramped in a house with a lot of people in it and it's, it's very nerve wracking. There's all kinds of things that, that we're going through during this particular time. In my life, I know I've suffered a great deal from loneliness and uh, Though I've been healed, thank the Lord for that, I've been healed of a great deal of it, and I'm also married now, that's certainly a, a wonderful blessing. It, it just puts me in mind of all the things that I've gone through in my life. I've lived a very isolated life and, and, and been very lonely. But it's when I received Christ, when I found a profound joy, a profound love that I never knew even existed. And how wonderful that was. I encourage you during this particular time, and especially around Christmas, because it boils up so many different things inside, inside of us. Whatever we're going through, whatever our, we're feeling, it, it gets to be at, an, at a more heightened level. The loneliness, depression, if you suffer from those things, those things can be worse during uh, the holiday season and Christmas time. So I encourage you, even though we, all, we are social distancing and we do have this shutdown, to reach out to somebody. Call somebody, talk them, to them on the phone, reach out to your family. There are a lot of resources out there. Churches have videos, conference calls. It's really important to connect with someone. And as a matter of fact, if you want to talk, feel free to email me. I'll leave my email in the video down there at the bottom. Indeed. As we near the end of the year with Christmas and the coming new year, I want to thank each and every one of you that have been such a blessing to Cherie and I. As an artist, one of the, one of the greatest and most meaningful things for me in, in doing what I do is connections with people and engaging people and, and I have been blessed by the kindness of so many uh, th there I can't even count them all I've really been blessed by a lot of kindness and I, and I thank you all Christmas it's a wonderful time of year we are struggling but there is still that wonderful meaning to it isn't there but what is it all about God sent his only son to reconcile us to himself. That's profound, isn't it? Why? Why would he need to reconcile us to himself? For he will save his people from their sins, we read in Matthew. In these scripture verses about Christmas. It's something to think about and and perhaps pray about. God bless you during this Christmas season. God bless you on Christmas Day. I hope you are blessed with the blessings of family and connection and find ways to uh, make sure that we are safe but yet reach out to people in whatever ways that you have available. Have a wonderful Christmas.